Hello, I'm back and I'm making a pecan pie. This is Becky. I'm Becky. This is Becky in the kitchen. If you haven't liked, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that too, if you don't care. But I'm making a pecan pie and I'm trying to make this kind of shorter than some of my other videos. We'll see how I do with that. But um, I like to use these pie crusts here. This is a Pillsbury pie crust. They come in the frozen section. And I've also used like a uh, Kroger brand before. I mean, it was fine, but um, I just went ahead and got Pillsbury, Burry. oh my. Uh, because they're really good. They're, they're really good and it saves you so much time. Now the other, the kind that come in the aluminum pan, I don't care for those. I never have, but these are actually really good. So I like to use these because it saves time and it makes things a whole lot quicker. So I'm going to, Put all the ingredients in here. It's just, it's egg. Well, I ain't gonna tell you that. I'll just tell you as I'm doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm using my new, my new all clad measuring cups and spoons. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my pecan pie. And this is a really good one. It's not like a lot of the other recipes and um, I think you'll like it. Okay, so you start out with four eggs and you just whisk that together. Oh gosh, uh, yeah, I have my little stomach resting on the counter there. Try not to look at that as I just told you. Yeah, see, watch me pull back, pull the shirt down, yeah. Whisk those together. That's the good thing about this pie, that you can just put it in a bowl. You don't need a mix or anything. One cup, that's one cup in my new measuring cup that I love, all clad. You add one cup of dark brown sugar. And this is one of the differences. You know, uh, most pecan pie recipes, a lot of them, they use white sugar. And it just makes it overly sweet. But with the dark brown sugar, it really gives it flavor. And that's one cup of corn syrup. Add that in there. And then um, whisk that together. And you add one teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk that together. Some people like to use bourbon in their pie. So if you wanted to use bourbon, you could easily substitute bourbon for the vanilla. Okay, one teaspoon of cinnamon. This is one of my favorite things about this pie because it really brings out the flavor. It just really makes it pop and just all come together with that cinnamon. So get you some good cinnamon. Whisk together. Now I'm adding my pecans. I added two cups of pecan halves and I realized that when I made my second pie well I didn't need that many pecans because it was really you don't need that many and they're so expensive so you could easily just get by with one cup of pecan halves okay so this is where I realized that I did not have my record button on when I put my pie crust in so I'm trying to show y'all what I did you know, yeah, my little Vanna White move there. <laughs> but it's real simple. You just roll it out and then make sure it's in the pan good. Um, okay, so this is my second pie that I did. But I wanted to show you, don't get confused, but I just want to show you a few things I did different. I used uh, chopped pecans because I thought that I might like that better instead of having those big pecan halves. So, I did like the chopped pecans better, and that was a cup and a half, but you could, like I said, you could easily use one cup. So, this is where I'm wanting to show you how I put the pie crust in there, but guess what? I forgot to hit record again for a second time. So, I just kind of pull, pulling it back there so you can see, just to give you an idea of how you put it in the, sh in the pan. It's really easy, really simple, and this pie crust does. It, it tastes really good. 
So that's why I always like to get this kind if I'm wanting to get a, you know, pre-made pie crust. And I'll also crimp the edges. So I'll show you how I did that right there. Real easy to do. And it makes the pie look pretty. Kind of professional, I guess. So, yeah. It's really simple, really easy. And I did not... I put in this pie, I put two tablespoons of flour in the first pie. I did not, and I actually liked the first pie a little better than the second pie without soap, if that makes sense. I liked it better without the two tablespoons of flour. So that's optional, but it's kind of like a crutch for you if you, uh, if to help the pie set up and to make it come together. But uh, yeah, I liked it better without the without the flour. Maybe next pie, I may only use like one tablespoon and see how it does. So there you go. Okay, so my pie has been cooking for about 30 minutes, uncovered. So the crust there is getting pretty golden. So I'm going to cover it up with some aluminum foil and finish cooking it the rest of them or baking it the rest of the way. Okay. Uh, has cooked for 15 more minutes. So I wanted to tell you that I left, that I forgot to add the part in the video about the melted butter. You add one third cup of melted butter. So just want to put that out there. And um, I'm going to just read the recipe off to you again in case I made things confusing. Four eggs, one cup of dark brown sugar, one cup of corn syrup, one third of a cup of melted butter, one cup of pecans, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and you can add two tablespoons of flour if you like. I liked it better without the flour, so I'm gonna try one tablespoon of flour next time and see if I can get a happy medium there. So um, you bake it at 350 for about 45 minutes. Now, as I said, I baked mine for 30 minutes uncovered, and then the remainder of the time, I covered it with aluminum foil so that the uh, top wouldn't get too brown. So I think that I've covered everything. If I've left anything out, just let me know in the comments. For, such, for my shortest video, this has taken me the longest amount of time. This is, you know, another day, different shirt. Now I'm gonna move on to the next segment of the video, which I took the other day to show you how good it tastes. Okay, so we're <laughs> out here, such a beautiful fall day. I thought, well, let's go out on the porch and have some pie. <laughs> so we're gonna sample it. And I actually I made another pie and I chopped the pecans up and I believe I like that better. I like the chopped pecans better. Even got a little fancy with my crust around the edges. I crimped it there. So we're gonna take a test, a test, taste. Take, take a bite. <laughs> He's being difficult. <laughs> How is it? Oh, why are you acting all bashful? He ain't even. Yeah, this is good. Good stuff here. So. It's just funny. Here's the pecan pie video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if I haven't said that already. <laughs> and um, until next time.